Hi, uh, thank you very much for, for all of you to be here. Uh, my name is André Nogueira, uh, and, and this guy here is Hector Velarde. Uh, we, we, we are from Simples Consultoria, a content management system, uh, company that, uh, he, from Brazil. Uh, our, our main customers are me, uh, media, uh, news media websites, uh, internet, and, and some government uh, we websites. Uh, so uh, l let's start talking about, uh, a little bit about collective covert, okay? Uh, for, 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 uh, for those that doesn't know uh, what co collect cover is, uh, we, we pick up this, <laughs> The, the, this paragraph from Paul Roland, okay, uh, it, it, it defines w w what the collective cover is, okay? It, it's a, a front page editor. Uh, using that, you can you you, you can ma make a, a very comple complex uh, front pages from websites. Uh, Paul Roland. <laughs> I use your your paragraph, okay? <laughs> so uh, last year we introduced the collective cover for, for, uh, during the the planning conference in Arhen, and the the, the room was as ver was very full. Uh, the, the people is is up in the in the bottom, okay? Not 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 so so full, but. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the first impressions uh, that, that collective cover made were very good. Okay, uh, we, we 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 picked some of the the, the Twitter stuff up just after the, the the presentation. So you can you can see the the people really liked the what did the what did he what he what represented. Okay, so. The, the, uh, they are very, 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 very. We are, we are was very happy with the, the, the these impressions. Uh, that that with some some of the impressions are very unexpected, like this one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. I I think Paul, we can use this 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 thumb up, thumbs up to 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 qualify the products from the, 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 the market approved it's a very good <laughs> so in in one year we we did we did a lot of stuff we have more than 1000 commits uh much more than the first year uh we 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 had 26 contributors uh cover is now Translated to 80 languages. Okay, uh, th there is another one who, who is almost done, but we, we don't continue. Uh, more companies start to to support the the development of the of the collective cover, like Enfold System, TV1 from Brazil, uh, Deserto Digital from here from Brazil too. Uh, many thanks for these guys, and. Uh, uh, we heard uh, some things ab about people uh, discussing if cover should be in the plan core, but uh, please, I think it's too much for now. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. do please don't do that now. <laughs> okay. uh, a great friend make a, a demo video. I think uh, all, all of you watch this video. It helps to make cover more famous. <laughs> Uh, this madman nominated the collective cover for plenty awards. Please don't vote in us. You have better choices like robot framework or mockups. <laughs> Please. And the, the result about all this stuff we, we did in the last year was that we have now a better UI, a better code, and a lot of more tests. Okay. Uh, and the, the main results, I think, is the, this one. We have more websites using Collective Cover from the scratch, from the, the from out, out of the box, without any customizations. Okay, the, this 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 guy, these guys are web uh, media's website, 
news media website. Uh, the, 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 this is our ONG, and this one, Brazil Gov BR. You, I think that everybody knows. No. So it's time to to show what, what what's happening. Uh, th these numbers in the real life, okay? Hector, you you can start now. Okay, hi. Hello, guys. Uh, we're going to make a, a live uh, demo of what we can do uh, with Collective Cover right now. I think, okay. So let's start. I, I have here a Plum 4.3.2 uh, installed from scratch. I was just uh, adding some content to it. And let's try to create a, a front page. Okay, so... Collective cover from master branch. I'm going to make the release after this uh, presentation, probably live. <laughs> It installs and uninstalls, Paul. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Let's add a, a new cover. Let's call it the uh, front page, for instance. And first thing you will notice here is that now we have a, a layout selector, okay? And you can see uh, more or less uh, how it's going to 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 look your 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 cover. Let's let's start with an empty layout, so it's going to be better for now. Okay, now we have two tabs here. The Compose tab, that is going to be empty right now, and the Layout tab, okay? In the Layout tab, we are going to uh, compose uh, the layout, and then we are going to start adding uh, the content to it. So probably we want a carousel in here, yeah? Is that fine? And let's add a, a row over here, and another column. I'm going to make a real easy one. Uh, we want a collection here. Could it be? A basic, two basics. That's it. For now, it's OK. OK. So you will see uh, these uh, round uh, markers here that are going to be used for configuration. Right now, I'm going to, to use. Uh, this layout as it is. We're going to save it. Uh, probably we can use a rich, rich test style also. Okay. Let's put it here. Save it. And let's go now to compose. Okay. Now you will see some stuff here. We need to work on this, st still work on this. Uh, let's add some content. This is what we call a content chooser. You will see here. Uh, the most recent items on, on your site, okay, sorted by, uh, I think, publication date, if I remember. And you can also uh, filter. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put here, uh, ah, and also you have a tab when you can uh, navigate the site. 
and that's it. So let's add here some content. Uh, probably that's okay. Now we have a beautiful carousel here. We can add here uh, a collection. As you can see, uh, the tiles will uh, change color to green if you can drop um, some sort of uh, content on it. Okay. And now, this is a basic tile. I can uh, drop anything on it. Even this one. And this one is a rich textile. So we can edit. So here is a cover, but it's not really nice. So let's try to, I'm going to, f to change this. This collection is not, uh, I don't like it. I will, I will use another one. The one that displays the news items. OK, it's better. It has most, more information on it. So now, what about trying to configure this? Because I don't like the way it looks. Let's go back here. And we say that the collection tile, um, it will not show the description, for instance. I will not want the, descri the description. I don't want the, probably want um, the date also. I don't want it. And the image is going to be a smaller one on the right, for instance. I'm going to show five elements. I'm going to use the H1, and that's it. Now, if we go back here, you'll see that all changes that we made are already there. What else? Um, let's edit this. This will, will solve uh, many other use cases than you could have. That's it. Probably, uh, if you don't like some 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 of the title you have here, you you can ed edit it. Okay, that's better. You can even change the image here. I think. Let's use another one. Probably, let's say this one. And that's it. That's it. You, you can even raise some of this, and you will have a, a different. Or you can change the order, and you can enable autoplay or not. Let's let's add more content here. Anyway, uh, that's it. Okay. So this is it, guys. Here we have a. A huge front page yeah. made in f five minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, I ah, will show you more elaborated uh, front pages made with this. Obviously, probably this is the the most impressive one. They use a lot of of, of information, and they they have only. They, yes, they, they, these sites are from journalists. They use, I, I think there is only one. Uh, we don't have any web designers, just journalists that edit this, this front page. Uh, are there any kind of responsiveness related to, to the teams that you use? Responsiveness. Uh, yeah, yes, it, it's very. Oops, oops, what happened?
Yes. É... Qual? Reduz mais. Reduz mais. For instance. Mais um pouquinho. It's not perfect, but it's working. <laughs> yeah, the carousel. I think I, I could open this on, on Firefox that has the, the responsive uh, stuff. But, well, you, you got the idea anyway. That's it. Any other question? Uh, congratulations for your work. And does uh, collective cover replaces uh, collage and uh, products carousel? <laughs> yes. Please. I would say yes. Uh, I have used almost all of them: collage, uh, uh, the uh, portlet well, the content well, portlets, whatever. Uh, this, although it's not perfect, um, there needs to be work to have it work in overlays and stuff, but this is actually the first one where my users, uh, my editors, who are non-technical, they were the first who were like, could completely redesign the front page and any other pages that we make in this without my help. Um, and that's sort of like my test. Uh, if they don't need me anymore, I can do more other stuff and they are happy as well. So yeah, they do. Re this does replace it. And what about uh, Products Carousel? Products Carousel. Does it, you do, do, you, do, yeah, do yeah. this, do, do, does this Carousel replace it? Well, I I don't think so because the products carousel you can use a, a collection as a as an input and I think we broke uh, our own carousel at some point and we have to fix it but uh, but yes it could it could replace it. Uh, on the other hand, I want to add that we I used to work on a on a newspaper and and we were looking for something like this and we also know all of these other products like uh, starting from composite pack that I, I that was one of my favorite. Uh, Andre and Erico already knew uh, content panels, uh, collage. I, I tried it. Uh, it. It looks uh, at the beginning very, very interesting. But the, the changing the, the the layout, it's really uh, difficult, at least for me. And we took ideas from from all all the all, all of these products to make this. That's it. Um, is it possible to um, uh, create a layout and lock down several of the tiles so that users with certain roles cannot change anything except for a few? Yes, I think right now only a user that has a management uh, privilege on a site can go inside the, the layout uh, tab, but I'm not pretty sure. But because at some point we broke also the <laughs> the the permission systems. By the way, the idea, uh, the one of the the main ideas when we start working on on this was to be able um, to allow certain users just to edit certain tiles. Okay, so you can have a a, a big team of people working on, on the front page of, of a site, but they only can change a small piece of it. I think it's only based on the, on the group that it's a, a column. But yes, it, it is possible. You can, uh, you can tell us if you, if you test it and, okay. Any other question? Yes. What's the list of uh, JavaScript dependencies? dependencies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, what? Uh, we are using uh, Twitter Bootstrap uh, for the the layout, uh, and we are using uh, for the um, uh, what's the name? 
Galería Data Joe for jQuery, not much. That's all. Hi. Uh, is it possible to extend it with new widgets, like, I don't know, tabs or models? I think right now we, we it's probable to extend it, probably with uh, different tiles. Uh, there's some work we, we want to do. At some point, we were thinking on make it uh, possible to work with plain standard tiles. But uh, as we uh, mentioned last year, uh, this was made, the inners of the, of the package were, were made on 15 days. And it's a real, uh, real nightmare to dig in, into it. We need to fix it. But probably in the future, we can be able to, to do it in a more uh, saner way. Not demo yet. OK. Uh, so the plans for now on uh, would be could be move content among tiles. Right now, it's not possible. We need to, as I told you, we need to fix the uh, data structure used for uh, storing the information. Currently, we are using annotations on on the contents of the object to store all, all the stuff. But it's it's it being clear that right now uh, we need to refactor all all the stuff. On it, uh, drag and drop to reorder the fields. I didn't show it, because, but you can change uh, the number that it's on the the right side just to change the order of the fields as they are uh, shown on the tile. That's almost already finished. I think we we need to to test it, but uh, the the pull request is already there. We need to to change the grid system. We were using you you know more about that. We are using Deco grid system with 12 columns, so it's impossible to make three rows with the equal, equal size. 12. 12. We use 12 and we aim to use 16. No, no, it's, they use the 12 columns grid system. Uh, we want to make it, of course, okay. It's, the, oh. it's opposite. Anyway. We want to make it work on on the next version of Plano. Obviously, uh, we want probably to add some semantic and HTML5 stuff on it, and we want more, more people testing it and using it and helping us because this this code base is huge. Right now, I think it's more than you told it more than seven thousand lines. We need to clean uh, the stuff a little bit. And uh, this kind of products is, is only it, it will be rich if you start giving us uh, some feedback. Uh, the next uh, next release is in, including it's release one dot zero alpha five. It's going to include some huge improvements. We want to start making things saner by releasing early, because this one took us uh, a lot of time. And that's it. That's it. I want to before uh, yeah. Who finance the development? We, involved, uh, simplest consultoria. Right now, only. Not one, not one big customer. In fact, uh, for, uh, all the work we had made on on this in this year has been paid by our customers, and by three customers. In fact, uh, Carta Capital, Red Brasil. Governo Brasileiro e, e Enfold. Enfold system uh, was a true believer from the very beginning of this, and they, they spent uh, a lot of time testing it, giving, uh, giving some really, really nice feedback, and paying some time for, for developers to fix stuff. This new release is going to, to be uh, ready uh, because of this. Maybe it would be nice to uh, tell us about uh, Cafecito Sprint. To tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Ah, Erico. Erico. 
Why? Why not? Why? <laughs> Why not? Cafecito. Yeah, uh, last year, actually, we work with news, uh, news sites and they need something like this. We've been struggling with content panels for quite a long time. I really like content panels because it was easy for the end user. It was a pain for everybody else. Uh, and then we decided uh, it was simple. As a company in Argentina called uh, Have It and a company from Mexico called Open Multimedia to start something from scratch. Actually, Carlos de la Guardia over there had started the project and Wave, yeah. And we took from where he left and decided to, to, to create something new. And then we did the longest sprint in the, sto in the history of Plone because we were two weeks working just on this. And I remember when uh, I went to Euro Python and people, yeah, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's going to, are you going to deliver something? And in the end, we had something usable. We start using some customers, but most important, uh, uh, in 15 days, we managed to, to go from almost nothing to a usable solution. And it was important because it was the first uh, sprint we did by ourselves. We go to other sprints, but it was the first one we did by ourselves. We, uh, I think Cynthia brought the, uh, the Cafe City Sprint because we need uh, to sell another idea. This year in Brazil, we had at least three different sprints. One of them is sponsored by Cynthia. Cynthia, raise your hand. She basically is from Presidência da República, she's the, the Brazilian presidency, and they were in need of a solution for a control vocabulary. And it was kind of, yeah, we need a training session and we need to do something else. And okay, let's do a sprint on the afternoon. And thanks to her, we had a very important part of our, uh, uh, the Brazil.gov project. Uh, delivering, no, 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 in uh, a little bit of time. Uh, Cafe City Spring this year was different. We were focusing on semantics, mainly because we have uh, Carta Capital, one of our customers. We have a talk in Portuguese. The slides are in English. A few uh, uh, we, are, uh, we are doing later on about the protests, uh, protests we had in Brazil a few months ago. And Caipirinha Sprint was meant to help improve the, their site uh, position in, in uh, search engines and provide a little bit of semantics. And we are starting to, to see the results. So Cafecito is now a yearly event. So, uh, uh, so Caipirinha is going to be a yearly event in here. OK? OK, I want to finish uh, just uh, by saying thanks to most to the people that made uh, Collective Cover possible. I want to start uh, mentioning uh, Franco Pellegrini and uh, Quimera, Silvestre Wenz. I want to say thank you also to Juan Pablo Jimenez, Clever Santos that made a lot of work testing. Of course, Andre, I, I forgetting somebody else. Right now, it's, it's working a lot. Felipe. 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 Actually, uh, Marcos Romero. He's a really good front end developer, but he's shy, so we need to get him and make him work for Pro. Okay? I, I cannot uh, forget um, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yes. And um, yeah. Flecox. <laughs> and now for something completely different, I'm going to make the release right now. For those of you that are not uh, using uh, Ses Releaser, this is the way you made a release.
won't talk that we sneaked into the Python part of the conference because they love Django over there. So we are there showing, okay, we can do nice stuff with Gnome that scales and that uh, uh, don't get anybody fired. That's really, really important. Uh, I also want to mention Ask Kosuka, who helped us with the robot framework stuff. Please vote for him. He deserves the Plon Awards. I also want to mention David Glick, who was the first uh, working in this idea of using Deco without using Deco. And Timo also made a, a good work helping us on the quality assurance stuff. And the release is done. You can test it. <laughs> <laughs> If, if I forgot somebody, please forgive me. That's it. <laughs> if you have any other questions.